Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video, but today's video is going to be, um, uh, it's a little mix of Funko, um, Pop Finals, and, uh, well, two other things, I should say. So, yeah, I've been starting to collect some Pop figures and Funko, so that's kind of my new thing now. So I'm just going to get right into it, um, but first, I'm going to show you guys the other things. And so I'm just going to start with How to Train Your Dragon. So I did see the new How to Train Your Dragon 2 movie, and it was really good. I loved it. But at the movie theaters, they were selling these cups, collectible cups here. And you can uh, see there's Hiccup and Toothless, Astrid right there, and then Stormfly. But on the cups, you get these little figures, and I got Toothless. Uh, I forgot which ones you can get. I believe you can get, is it Cloud Jumper? I think, uh, Hook Fang, uh, I, Toothless, obviously, um, Skull Crusher, maybe, I don't remember all the figures you can get, but, uh, I chose Toothless, and it does come off, hold up, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, so there's Toothless, really cool, absolutely love Toothless, so I got that, and then I went to Walmart and found this uh, little mini figure of Toothless Night Fairy. Um, these are some of the other figures you can get. There's Toothless, Meat Lug, and Stormfly. And there's other ones too. Um, for some reason, they only show three on the set. But there's like Toothless with his other, um, with only the half tail thing and uh, different poses and stuff. But there's that. And then here it is really cute um definitely good detail on here i mean the bottom right here looks like it's slimy and scaly like a reptilian kind of deal and you can see the scales on there and he's really cute because he's like looking up and it's really adorable um his head does move um probably all the way uh it's kind of like a stiff movement there but um yeah and as you see he does have his full tail so yeah i got a little toothless to just to add to my collection because I love How to Train Your Dragon. And then, I almost forgot about this one. I got this plushie of Toothless. Hold up here for a second. Let me move some of the stuff so you guys don't see it so it doesn't ruin the surprise. So I got this plushie of Toothless, and it's a pretty good sized plushie. And what I like about this is because some of the plushies I've seen, the wings are like these, this weird type of fabric. Um, but these are actually the same type of fabric as the plushie itself. And plus, it has the symbol on its tail. A lot of the ones I've seen was just all red without the symbol. So really happy I found this. And it was on clearance. Look at that. It's Toothless. So... There's that. I'm going to put them up right now. Alright. So next, I got these little mystery minis. Um, now, as you can see, I already opened it, and I got two of them, actually. And these are the ones you can get. I do plan on buying more of these, um, but at the time, I only got one when I was at Barnes & Noble because I got um, the pop figures too. So these are the ones you can get. Oh, wow, that's a really bad glare um, every time I lift it up. But you can get Hiccup with the Flame Sword, Hiccup with the Plane Sword, four different Toothless because the Mystery One's Toothless, Skull Crusher, Meat Lug, I forgot these guys' name, Barf and Belch or something, Stormfly, Hook Fang, and uh, Astrid. So those are the ones you can get. And if you buy a case, you'll get all of them. Um, like you, you're guaranteed to get all of them. But um, the ones I got. So the first one I got was Astrid, which isn't too bad. Astrid is cool. I I like Astrid. Would I have preferred Toothless? Yes, but um, Astrid's cool too. I like Astrid. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna collect all of these. I kind of just want to get it so I get Toothless, maybe Hiccup. And Stormfly, possibly, because I like Stormfly, too. So there's Astrid, and the head does move, but not all the way because of her braids. Or braid. 
And then the other one I got, which I got today, was Skull Crusher. So really cool. I think his tail moves. I'm not. Does his tail move? No. I thought I did because there's like a huge line right across there. But this one has no articulation. Its head doesn't move because it's just a solid piece there. But it's okay. So at least I got a dragon. I do plan on ordering more of these. And I will be doing an unboxing of these. So whenever I order it. Alright. So now let's get into the pop figures. And we're going to continue on with how to train your dragon. So I got two or three different series um, of pops. First one is How to Train Your Dragon. So we got Toothless. Wow, that's a really bad glare. Uh, that's a little better. Um, there's only two of these. And I know the paint jobs on these vary a lot because there's crappy ones and there's some good ones. Um, I didn't really look for that in these because literally there's only one other one to choose from this. So there's Toothless. The other ones you can get in this set is Hiccup, Astrid, which did not have either of these. They had Stormfly, and they had Barf and Belch, and Hookfang. So that's their name, Barf and Belch. Yeah, that's right, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to collect the rest of these or not. I don't know if I'm going to open this. I think it would take too long. But um, there's two of us. Um, the other series I got, uh, let's continue on with the movies. So the other movie I've seen was the new Transformers, Transformers 4, which I loved it. I love Transformers, and I definitely love this movie. So I got Bumblebee. We're going to start off this one because I am displaying this one out of the box because I absolutely love Bumblebee. Um, I love Bumblebee and the Dinobots. Um, they're awesome. So we got Bumblebee right there, and on the uh, side of it is really cool because she has like all the Dinobots on there. It's really cool. And then on the back, we got Optimus, Bumblebee, and Drift, Autobot Drift. And there's an actual picture of them. And there's the back. Um, what I'm hoping from this is that they'll make more of these, like, because there's two other Autobots that they have to make, and it would be cool if they made the Dinobots of these pop figures. So hopefully they'll make another series of these. Here's the actual figure. Now, they had, where, where I found this guy, there's only this one, but then when I looked deeper in, they had, like, a little display for Transformers, and that's where I found, uh, maybe four more of them. Um, but this one has a pretty good paint job. I absolutely love Bumblebee. His head turns. He's really cool. And then, I got Autobot Drift, who is awesome, um... I was worried because I could not find this one, and he was again with the other display of the Transformers, and there's only one other one of him, and both the paint jobs weren't as good. <laughs> um, this one's not too great, especially behind. I don't know, there's, there's like this red spot, and the other leg doesn't have it, so I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. Hold on a second. I'm going to move and see if the lighting's better. Let's see if I can move over here. My dog's in the way, so it's hard to move. And it's a little darker, but there's no glare. There's a shine. So yeah, um, there's only one other one to choose, and it wasn't as great. So there's that, and there's an actual picture of them. Like I said, there's two other Autobots that, that hopefully they'll make, and they'll hopefully make a Dinobot one of these. And of course, the last figure I got, Optimus Prime, um, Barnes & Noble exclusive. Um, when I got this one, there was only one of these left. Um, I came back today, and they had quite a few more of them. So, there's an actual picture. Paint job's not too bad on this. I mean, I haven't really looked for them, because when I see a figure and I know there's only one left, I'm going to get it. Alright, so the last series... There's like a big shadow. Um, the last series of uh, pop figures I got are, of course, Game of Thrones. And, yes, I watch Game of Thrones. I think I'm missing one. No, I'm not. And we'll start with... Jon Snow. Ugh, Jon Snow. Um, now, they only had one Jon Snow, and that was this at Barnes & Noble. And the paint job on this one, not too great. You can kind of see it already. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to get it, because Jon Snow is my favorite character in the series. 
really cool, and I do plan on ordering the other one that they're making. I don't know when that comes out, but I do plan on getting that. Here are the other figures in this set. John Snow. This is edition two, I guess. I don't know. I just started collecting, so I don't know how many editions they have out. And then the next one I got, Rob Stark. I also like Rob Stark. He was a cool, guy, cool, cool character. Uh, it's really late. Um, they only had, uh, they had maybe three or two of these, so I just kind of picked one that looked good. I probably won't get any more figures from this set. I mean, Arya Stark's pretty cool, but I don't know if I'll get her, and I don't really want those other ones. So this is probably it for edition two. So yeah, Rob Stark. And then the last one I ordered online, because at the time I didn't like I, I don't keep up with pop figures, so I didn't know this was an exclusive at 7-Eleven. And that is Grey Wind. I love the Dire Wolves. I love Jon Snow, but I also love the Dire Wolves. So I had to get Grey Wind. That's why I got Rob Stark, because it's his wolf companion. So we got Grey Wind. Um, pretty expensive figure. I think it was like I paid thirty for this. But that was the cheapest compared to the other figures on there, and there wasn't that many people selling this. So I had to get Grey Wind. Here are the other figures. This is Edition 3, and I do plan on getting Ghost, but they didn't have Ghost at Barnes & Noble, so I'm probably going to order them. They did have, is that Dragon? Dragon? Is it just Drogon? Um, I do plan on getting that. They did have that one, but I didn't pick it up because I had, like, I, uh, today alone I bought the, or not that, one, two, three, four, five things, so, yeah. And I'll take this one out of the box to show you guys, just because I haven't really opened any of these. Um, really easy to open, and I'll just open this one to end the video, but, Grey Wind, I love Grey Wind. Pretty good paint job. There are some spots that are like dirty. I don't know if it's from him or what. The guy that sold me this. He said it was brand new, but they lo it looks dirty, kind of. But there's Grey Wind. So that's that's where I'm going to end this. That's about it. Um, so be on the lookout for videos like this, because um, I do plan on probably getting more of these figures, because there are a lot out that I like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little extra video, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone.